This week, I'll show you how to focus at night with a fly-by-wire lens. A fly-by-wire lens is basically one that focuses electronically. There are electronic connections to the motors that drive the focusing system. Nowadays, lenses are really clean and slick but they don't have any focus markings on them whatsoever. This is okay in the day when using autofocus, but at night when there's not enough light for the autofocusing system to work, you then have to focus manually. And this makes it really challenging. So with these fly-by-wire lenses, I have two different ways to focus them. If it's a new lens and you've taken it out at night and you haven't had a chance to test it in the day, this is what you need to do. Find a bright star, switch to manual focus, Magnify in on that star. Turn the focus ring until you get the star in focus. You might have to focus backwards and forwards a little bit to find that critical focus point. But if you're patient, you can get that focus dialed in nicely. If you inadvertently knock the focus ring, you'll have to go through this process again. So just be very careful when moving the camera about. Also, if there's an antenna or anything on the horizon that's bright and the camera can see, you can also use this, as long as it's far enough away for the camera to get to the infinity point. The second way is the way that I prefer to focus at night with my fly-by-wire lens. I normally do this with my Batis 25mm. It does have an LCD display on the top of the lens, but I prefer to use this technique. In the daytime, set your camera up so you can find and focus on something on the horizon. You might have to climb up a hill or get to a vantage point where you can see a long distance away. Switch to manual focus. Turn off manual focus assist. On the a7 III, this is tab one, page 13 out of 14. Turn the focus ring until the horizon is in focus. You can use the magnify tool to check to see if you've got critical focus. Whilst doing this, make a note of what the number is on the back scale when the point of the horizon comes into focus. This is normally at the furthest focusing distance or just as it turns into the infinity symbol. If you keep turning past this point, the focus very quickly drops off and you'll see it become really blurry. So it's very much a knife edge point to the sharpness. Then when you're out shooting at night, you bring the focus back to this point. Just at the point on my Batis 25, when the infinity symbol appears, I know I have perfect focus. Whereas on my 24 to 70, it is just before the infinity symbol appears. Some cameras don't have this function. Others will have this scale on the back of the camera, but then they won't show the focusing distance. So with those ones, you'll have to use the first method. I normally shoot with a manual focus lens, and this has the markings on the lens, so it makes it really easy and straightforward. If you're getting into astrophotography, I'd suggest getting a manual focus lens, something like the Lauer 15mm f2 or the Samyang 14 f2.8. They're both manual focus lenses, and they both have the markings on the top of the lens. So even before you turn your camera on, you can get your focus point. And that's about it. If you follow either one of these techniques, you'll be able to get critical focus at night. As I said, I normally shoot with manual focus lenses, but every now and then I'll use something like the 16 to 35 f2.8 or my Batis 25 mm Then with these, I'll use either one of these techniques. As always, if you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't give me a thumbs down and for weekly tutorials, hints and tips in photography and videography, subscribe and turn on notifications. I'll see you next time.